Well, hey guys, happy Vlogmas Day 20. Who's enjoying the holidays? I'm here dressed up like an elf with my classy pal bib on to protect my pretty shirt. Um, so you know what that means. I'm sharing with you guys a festive fun recipe. Look at my tree. Look how beautiful. I don't want to take it down. But anyways, guys, so today I have a really fun, easy recipe for you guys for a Pioneer approved Laura Ingalls Wilder inspired gingerbread that I got from the Forks Over Knives website. So I will list it down below. Uh, but I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. And with that, let's get started. All right, so for this recipe, you just need uh, three cups of a flour of your choosing. Um, the recipe kind of goes into detail about different types of flours you can use. I'm using three cups of, of oat flour, and the way I make oat flour is I just take plain rolled oats. Uh, you can use gluten-free rolled oats if you're gluten-free um, and want to make this recipe gluten-free, but I just take three cups of rolled oats and I pulse them in my little ninja bullet here. Um, I do about a cup at a time in this little baby cup here and that makes a nice flour. So I've got three cups of oat flour here in the bowl and then in this smaller bowl I have some of my other dry ingredients, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, allspice, ginger, cloves, nutmeg, and I think that's everything. And then liquid ingredient wise, you're gonna be using some unsulfured molasses. I got mine on iHerb, um, and I really am excited about this plantation blackstrap one. <laughs> Fun fact, this stuff has, uh, for a sweetener, it's got a little bit of a bang for its buck in that it provides 20% of your daily iron requirement in just a mere tablespoon, as well as 20% of your daily calcium needs. So this this is um, kind of high in minerals, which I suppose is good. And uh, it clocks in at 11 grams of sugar, so it's a good, uh, a good choice, I guess, for a sweetener. And we all know gingerbread derives its uh, signature flavor from the molasses, so happy to be using that. Um, and then I'm going to be using um, apple cider vinegar in this recipe as well, just a little bit some unsweetened applesauce and this is just the Mott's kind. Oh look, it's non-GMO, but you could make your own applesauce and I bet you, you could probably even use canned pumpkin um, if you like. And then I'm gonna be using maple syrup. I absolutely adore this maple syrup from Costco. It is organic, um, it's really good and I just store mine in my fridge um, and I make a little raincoat for it out of this Ziploc baggie. That way it doesn't get the uh, um, fridge all sticky and goopy. Um, so I put a little uh, raincoat underneath and one on top as well. And it stays really fresh for a very long time. So good value and I really like this. And you're also gonna want some sort of baking dish. I suppose you could make this in muffin cups if you wanted to, to do it that way. Um, I'm just gonna be using this uh, splatterware um, uh, metal baking pan that I've had for some time. I really love this and I think it looks kind of, I don't know, pioneer-esque. So I don't know if this is Laura Ingalls Wilder approved. Hard to know, but I think it's appropriate for this recipe and it's really pretty and festive for this time of year. Um, and so yeah, I'm just going to coat this with a little bit of coconut oil. Um, you could use nonstick spray as well. And I am going to do that and I'm also going to preheat my oven to 375 degrees. But honestly, a real lifesaver for me in baking this holiday season and eating in general because I'm sort of like a child when I eat and bake. I throw things all over the place and I end, invariably end up ruining the uh, my shirt. Um, and so, and I find most aprons don't cover the surfaces that get splattered the most. Is that just me? So the thing that's been really saving my clothing is this little classy pal bib with the jazzy Audrey Hepburn necklace. Totally loving it. Um, I, I wear this while I eat too so that I uh, don't ruin my clothing, but what with it being the holiday season and vlogmas, I've got my candy cane apron here to uh, festively tie around my waist. Isn't that cute, you guys? This was a great deal. I got this at, um, 
I got this at Wimberley Market Days. Um, it was a really good deal. It's just like a couple of bucks. It's a little tattered on the end, but I'd like to imagine it too is Lori Ingalls Wilder approved. I don't know. Pioneer Couture, probably not quite. <laughs> All right, let's get crack a lacking. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is just simply whisk in the um, seasoning ingredients that I showed you that are in my smaller bowl that also has the baking powder and baking soda. I'm going to just mix those into my oat flour here. So I'm just going to use a fork um, and just kind of marry them together. But the smell of cinnamon and cloves and ginger is really getting me excited for this recipe. And this really makes your home smell very festive <laughs> and good. Regardless of if you celebrate Christmas or not, I think you would be happy to have this recipe in your life simply because it makes your, your home smell so good and it tastes delicious. I got this recipe, at, which is linked down below, um, from the website Forks Over Knives, and I'm really fond of that website. They have a lot of really fun plant-based recipes for those of you experimenting in um, plant-based recipes and, and interested or, um, you know, trying to find fun, new, inventive ways to use legumes and plants and all that fun stuff. Also, very budget-friendly meals if you have some, um, you know, savings goals coming up this, this um, January. Um, if you've overspent a bit too much during the holiday season and want to dial back a little bit on the, uh, on the budget, they have some excellent, excellent recipes on that website that you can make for mere pennies. So... This one is pretty inexpensive as well. I would say probably the most expensive ingredient on here maybe is the, the jazzy molasses, but it's a luxury item. You can make your own applesauce too. That's probably what Laura Ingalls Wilder did. I'm just gonna wager to bet Laura Ingalls Wilder didn't have moths in a plastic container, but she also probably didn't have GMOs either, so. She had bigger, bigger fish to fry back then, like, oh, I don't know, dysentery and what have you, rather than, uh, rather than worrying about a GMO. So we've got a lot more luxuries now to, to be terrified about, I suppose. Um, organic versus not. Their biggest fear was, well, if we, can we make it through childbirth without exsanguinating? I've just married together my dry ingredients here and this smells delicious. So moving right along. Yet another reason I would not have survived the pioneer days. I'm pretty certain that Costco did not exist back then. And if you cannot already tell, I source many, many of my food staples from Costco versus, oh, I don't know, the prairie. So um, I would be, as I say, SOL on the prairie without my Kirkland Signature uh, bowl here, which I have just whipped out. I am going to add my liquid ingredients to this right quick. And while I do that, I'm going to put a kettle on and bring it to a boil. You're going to want about a cup of boiling water for this recipe, so I'll go ahead and get that fired up. I imagine Laura Ingalls Wilder had to go and stoke the stove and get some logs on there in order to get water to come to a boil, but I've got my Paula Deen kettle from Walmart and my electric stove here, so I'm going to fire up that quite a bit quicker than I imagine she did. All right, so we've just got our cup of maple syrup here. Now, I think Laura Ingalls Wilder probably had to go out in the freezing cold and risk uh, frostbite and like drain this um, out of a uh, out of a tree. Uh, anybody from Vermont here? I've always wanted to go to Vermont and drain maple syrup out of y'all's trees, but. I don't think I could stand the cold, so I appreciate you all shipping directly to, to Kirkland your uh, luxurious maple syrup here. All right, we've got a cup of that. And now we're going to add in a cup of the uh, Plantation Blackstrap Molasses. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That smells good. Actually, we're going to add in three quarters of a cup. And about 
three quarters of a cup of applesauce here. Now this particular measuring cup that I have has uh, the three quarter, quarter mark delineated on the interior. Um, so if you're wondering how I'm doing that, that is how. I have a little, I have a little cheat sheet guide down there that I can see, but you all can't. Tricky like that. Now, the recipe specifies white vinegar, but with all the apple and um, kind of gingy flavors going on in here, I think apple cider vinegar shines a lot brighter in this. So I'm selecting that, but you could, you could follow directions. I'm, I'm just a little bit, uh, a little bit rogue. This too is sourced from Vermont by virtue of, of Costco, Kirkland. All right, so two tablespoons, one, two. All right, I can hear my water is just on the brink of boiling, so I like to tidy up as I go because I cannot stand a mess. Um, so one of the things that needs to go back in the fridge in his raincoat is the sticky icky maple syrup. Ooh -wee. So yesterday I went to the mailbox and my uh, little notice from Costco came in the mail reminding me that it's time for my membership renewal. But whenever that notice comes in, it's kind of like a treat because they simultaneously send me a check um, by virtue of my Costco executive card. Do you guys know about that? If you're a Costco executive member, you can add a family member for free. And then you get so much percentage cash back throughout the year. And at the end of the year, they send you a check, okay? So I use my Costco card like, like religiously. You know, I, I go there every week, right? That's where I get the bulk of my produce. Um, and uh, my mom is, is a shared member and she goes there frequently as well. And the fun thing about it is that at the end of the year, the cash back that I end up getting pays for the membership. So I just find it's a fantastic deal to do the executive membership. And I really feel like an adult when I whip out my Costco executive card. I mean, honestly, you know, some people are really impressed when they see somebody's got a fancy credit card, like, like what is it, the, the Chase Black or the, the Chase Platinum or one of those. I am most impressed by individuals if they've got a Costco executive card. And that to me is like, mm, okay, all right, we're on the same wavelength. All right, so my water's coming to a boil. Here's my handy dandy Paula Deen kettle. And you're gonna need about a cup of, of hot boiling water. And just to make cleanup easier, I'm adding it directly to this, this uh, measuring cup I've been using so it cleans it out and, and releases some of the sticky, icky residual flavors in there. And you just kinda wanna slowly add it in there, mixing it as you go. All right, so now we have a molasses maple syrup slurry, if you will. And I'm just gonna slowly add in my oat spice uh, baking powder, baking soda, mambo combo into this and mix it piecemeal. But another major shortcoming of Pioneer Life was the absence of Betty Crocker bakeware. So I'm just using my um, Betty Crocker spatula here that I've just sprayed with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray to keep the, the molasses from, spread, from sticking to it. And I'm just gonna fold in, and I'm just gonna fold in the flour mixture in like thirds or fourths. Get over how much like gingerbread this smells you guys it is really fragrant comment below do you make gingerbread cookies and if you do what shape do you make them do you make them into people like like is traditional or do you do stars um, different cutouts or are you more of a uh, gingerbread cake person You guys have to try this recipe. It is so easy and so delicious, and I'm gonna be eating this well into the new year. It is not a it is not a Christmas exclusive. No way. 
So at this juncture, all we have to do is dump this into the uh, pan and pop it into the oven, 375 degrees for 35 minutes. This is a great recipe for Christmas morning, you guys. FYI. Um, it's uh, not overly sweet that you can eat it first thing in the morning and not, uh, not go into a uh, sugar coma too early. All right, ready to go in the oven. All right, it came out of the oven and it looks so delicious. You guys, this smells wonderful. Um, you can see it's got a nice uh, crust on it. I have to say I um, really enjoy just using oat flour in this. Um, that way you don't have to put yourself out locating or sourcing different flours if you don't have them. The oat flour really, really works quite well and is very inexpensive and I mean, it's, chances are you, you may already have it at home, um, some rolled oats. So I recommend doing it just with, with straight rolled oats. Um, it bakes up really nicely. This is delicious for breakfast. I've just got it cooling here in the pan and this will just pop right out and you can slice it into bars. I'm gonna store it in the pan, however, because I love this um, container and I'm gonna take it um, over to my mom's house probably and share it with her. So yeah, festive pioneer gingerbread, all good to go for the holiday season. This is so delicious. Even if you're not vegan, even if you're not plant-based, it's so easy and so delicious and a great way to use the plantation blackstrap molasses. Um, I will list this down below where I got it from so you guys can, can source some yourself so you don't have to go out onto the prairie and risk getting diphtheria. Yeah, I'm gonna skip on over to my mom's house like a, a little uh, elf of Santa here with my festive hat and deliver this and share it with her. But you can eat this all year round, okay? There is no reason why this has to be a holiday exclusive. All right, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, you still need this in your life. It is so delicious, okay? So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 20's recipe video, and uh, comment below on if you like my classy pal bib. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye.